Hi, I would like to show you in this video how you can price a credit for swap using the ISDA engine that has been recently uploaded into the Quantity Library. Also, I will show you how to compare different prices as they come from different combinations of the parameters that go into this ISDA model specification. So let me start with the Derscope wizard here on the right. First, I have to change the type filter from equity to credit. And then here on the type selector, I will try to locate the CDS type and the tradable swap and CDS. Let me expand here so you can see the optional input parameters as well. These are all the parameters that characterize a credit for swap. But we're not interested in that now. We go straight to how to price this instrument by selecting the function price here in the function selector. And go over to models. And as you see here, the pricing method by default is set to midpoint CTS. And I'm going to change that into ISDA CTS. And then I hit go and create demo workbook, which will create created actually a new workbook that contains all the data required to price a CDS. And what you see here on the cell B2 is the price that has been calculated by Quantleap for this particular instrument. Let me go to this sheet called model. And here you see the model the object that has been created in cell B2 here. And as you see, the pricing method is, is the CDS. And the three rows on the bottom contain these parameters that are specific to this is the specification. They are called numerical fix, accrual bias, and forwards and coupon period. Each of them, as you click here, contains uh, two possible values and we would like to create all possible combinations which must of course be a total of eight. Um, the most efficient way to do that is we copy that range here, we select that cell and we paste in a transposed format like that, expand the column so we, everything is readable on the spreadsheet and then copy this row to a total of seven rows underneath paste and modify as needed in order to create all possible combinations of these three parameters. Okay, I'm done. So I would like to basically create on each row the respective model object. It's very easy to do that by basically creating a clone of that object here, cell B2, and selectively modify on that cloned object the values pertaining to these uh, properties here on that row, numerical fix, accrual bias, and forwards in a coupon period, and set up on each clone the values coming from each row here. So this is the way to do that. I type the Derescope function, ds, and I pass the name of the function will be clone. The object that the original object from which I create a clone is this one here. I press F4 because I would like the address to stay fixed as I paste the formula underneath later on. The next argument will be the row containing the keys, this one here, again with F4 as it has to stay fixed during pasting. 
And the last argument will be the respective values. This row here. This case, this will be with relative address format notation. And hit return. And that has created me the handle name here. If you click here, you can see the contents of that object on the task pane, which is basically the model object on that row of data. So if I paste that formula below, like that, I have created all the model objects. As I click around, you can see on the task pane the respective model objects. Fine. I go now to the output sheet. And let me first bring over everything I had on the model sheet for viewing purposes. The easy way to do that is if I, if I create a link like that, equal to that cell. And I copy that cell to enough rows and columns like that. So hit paste. I don't need that on the corner. And I expand my columns so everything is nicely readable on the spreadsheet. So all I have done until now is nothing else. These are formulas that link to the data here on the model sheet. So what is of uh, interest here is to go to that cell here and we are going to set up a formula that will give us the price of the respective CDS as follows. We have, ah, excuse me for that, because that formula has to pick up uh, data from that area here, and these are not optimally arranged because we would like all these data, including the markets, to be passed into the new formula in a single piece. Let me swap the relative position of this row and that row as follows. I select that row, I say uh, cut, I select that cell and say insert cut cells. Okay, now will be much easier for me to do my job and I have to type on that cell equal ds. The first argument will be that range and now that includes the market input and I hit F4 because I would like to keep that fixed as I paste the formula below later on and then the next argument will be the that cell that contains the key of uh, models again with a four and the last one will be the model object that will be used in that formula close parenthesis and hit return and that gave me the price of that CDS instrument Simply I paste that formula below and I have all prices. Now I can increase the precision so you can see the small actually differences that are coming. Change the color to red also because this is my final output to put some emphasis here. As you can see here, these are the CDS prices that are slightly different due to the different combination of the input parameters on each row on the left. That brought me to the head of this talk. Thank you for watching. Bye.